going on. It's my whole day right here. It's not just for horses. Not just to protect the muscles, you know, from warming up and injuring soft tissue, but I do a lot of this because of the way it smells. Just smelling this stuff when you're walking up the stairs to Berkeley's Health Club on Salina Street, and you're walking up, you're getting nervous, and you hear the clinking, you hear the bars, you hear that metal, that specific metal sound of how the weights clink against each other in the bar. Best music there is, and you smell the Ben Gay, you smell the sauce. Nothing. I just want to eat. I, I, I put the stuff on my arm just so I can smell it without worrying. Just to have records. Just to clean the water. Just to get back to where it all used to be stuff. Dude, what are you, are you scared of this shit? Dude, get in here. Get the culture of this. Stuff, that's all I know, man. It's almost 13 years old. You feel like you're at that point in your life, you're a nobody, right? This costume starts to come in, right from the balls, and you start to feel. And it's both in school, down in the gym with your boys, and never, ever want to lose this station. So this is just, you know, having fun, staying in the game. I'll be 60 years old, October. My goal is to bench 475. In the shirt right here, my weight class, in the unlimited division with the shirt on, put me in the top 10 currently on the rankings, unlimited and uh, open powerlifting, you know. Definitely not doing it for money, everyone knows that. You're doing it because it's all I've known since I've been 13 years old. And it's just always been part of my success and what's always driven me. And I feel like if I don't have it anymore, it's just kind of depressing. That's maybe why I went to med school and figured out how to stay healthy, strong and healthy. Even obviously using steroids, which is, I don't do anymore. I stay on testosterone, you know, I'm not gonna bullshit about that. And certainly have increased the doses here and there and added some agents in there like Masteron and Prima Bowen, but I don't want to be a bullshit guy, you know, so, but my vital signs are always perfect. That's my ABCDs, right? So even with training heavy like this, right? So I think that's how it should be done. It's called the 
vector forces, right? So blood pressure is up, so keep it down as much as you can beyond the diet and exercise because it's just, you need to go beyond that. So that's why I've, I've utilized real medicines, you know, for harm reduction and, and just to actually live. It's anti-aging, blood pressure, perfect. Cholesterol, super low if you, if you need it because you have plaque in the artery and now I'm on rapamycin, you know, because I, I like the data on the mTOR inhibition. It's not slowing me down, I feel good. And the other medications, you know, the PCSK9s and everything is just something that you got to put together for yourself with your healthcare team and um, just to stay in the game, man, and just keep killing it, even, even better maybe. I mean, maybe I'll end up benching in my 60s or older, like back in the 500s. I don't know. It's, just, uh, it's all kind of all I know, you know what I mean? Long powerlifter, board certified physician, and published academic author. I've taken care of thousands of men on testosterone and steroids, and now I use my media appearances in this YouTube channel to provide education and harm reduction. Subscribe now so I can help you stay strong and healthy.